Today we're making one of my favorite things in the world, dumplings. In Chinese we call them jiaozi. Pork is the meat product that we use. And then we have great wonton wrappers. You can buy dumpling wrappers, and of course you can make your own. Um, but I tell you, the store bar ones are just as good. Uh, a very simple recipe. It's ground pork, it's scallions, it's ginger, it's sesame oil, it's soy sauce. That's it. Then you make your dumplings, you pan sear them. Uh, there's a little secret. I use chicken stock instead of water when I'm actually uh, deglazing and steaming them. That's it. Super simple. So a bunch of scallions. It's good to have a nice ratio of veg and flavor to the pork. Pork is delicious, but it doesn't have a big punch to it. It's delicious because of the fat. And scallions add a great, great kick to it. So this is ginger. Ginger, by the way, when you buy it, should be nice and hard. You can break a piece off. I kind of take off the nubs. And then you got to peel, peel the ginger. And I find that the best way to peel ginger is actually using the back of a knife. Right? So you take a back of a knife, you can peel it like this. And by the way, if you have kids like I do that like to cook, the other way of doing it is I just grab a spoon. Because then the kids can take a spoon and peel ginger, and they're never going to cut themselves. I don't care how strong you are, I think it's impossible to cut yourself with a spoon. I mean, don't go home and try it, but I think it's impossible, unless I guess it was a very sharp spoon. All right? So like this, like if with a knife it hit me, that, that wouldn't be good, right? So using this, the skin is not bad. It's just a little bit tough and fibrous. So what I like to do is just take all of the peel away. And here is key, because ginger is so fibrous, you can do two things. You can grate it, or you can do what's called just mince. So I do nice, thin slices. Then I keep those slices, and I stack them up, because then I'm going to do long strips of it. In France, we call that julienne. And when you do that, I'm still going with the grain of the ginger. All right? And then you take the ginger julienne and twist it. All right? And once you twist it, then you can come across it one more time. And that's just how you get minced. And this is key, because if you put it into a food processor, it's really one of the only things a food processor can't do, because it's so striated. It has such, such long strands, you end up with kind of a mess. So that is a perfect heaping tablespoon of ginger. Then to this, we add sesame oil and soy sauce. And that's the filling, right? Mix this well. This you can do in advance. And actually, I think if you have the time, recommend doing this and let it sit for an hour. Because once it sits, it builds up in flavor. I'll add just a little bit of salt and pepper. I don't really need much salt because of the soy sauce. Just a little touch. Ground pepper. And one great test, if I'm making a bunch of this, like at Blue Ginger or Blue Dragon, my restaurants, I would take a little piece in a hot pan, just a touch of oil, and I'd sear a little piece. Why? Well, because I want to make sure that the seasoning of, these, of the filling is good before I bust out and make, you know, 20 dumplings. So this is really one of the only times that I'm a big fan of actually using a microwave. You can just nuke a little piece just to cook it through because you can't eat raw pork just to see how good it is. All right, so we're just going to let this cook. It's going to take about 30 seconds. All right, so give it a taste. Mm. All right, that's good to go. I've already started making it. I was assuming it'd be pretty good. So a tablespoon like that, a little bit of water, just on half, and then fold it up, right? And you want to make sure the sides meet. And this is key, right? You really want to make sure it's perfectly flush. And you got to push down on it to get all the air out. That's so key, because if you don't get a lot of the air out, sometimes it'll puff up. Now here, with a little bit of shaping, you pleat it, and you go one way, you know, at least four or five one way, and then you come back and four or five the other way. And you want to have a nice round shape like that, all right? So we'll go ahead and do one more, just so you can... Just make sure you got that. So, almost shaped the dumpling like a canal that already pre-shaped it, if you would, right? So, water on half, fold it up like this. Boom, baby. Fold this way and fold this way. All right? There you go. Now, how do you cook these? 
Very simple. Oil, canola oil. Oil's dancing around, that's awesome. You should hear a little sizzle. All right, so we're gonna cook, I don't know, five or six of these. And watch them. This is medium high heat. I wanna wait until the bottom gets nice and brown. Once it gets brown, I take chicken stock, which is more flavorful than water, with the cover in hand to then steam the rest of them. So this is gonna take about 30 seconds to get nice and brown. All right, so after about 45 seconds, see that nice and golden brown? That's what we're looking for. Chicken stock, key guys. Cover in hand, because you're gonna pour and then cover, all right? About a quarter of a cup. If you don't have that cover in hand, it could blow up on you, right? So make sure you have that cover. And now, and it, it makes that noise because so much steam is there. You listen to it. You listen to it, the liquid evaporates, and then it'll recrisp. Take about two to three minutes. All right, so once the liquid's completely evaporated, check these puppies out. You got these beautiful, crispy, right? Nice and crisp. And please, 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 when you plate them up, plate them up crispy side up. Because if you put them crispy side down, all this time you spent making a nice crispy dumpling, if you put that crispy side down, you're gonna end up with a soggy dumpling again. The whole idea of pot stickers is they stick to the pot and give you this nice crispy edge. Look at those. Oh. The easiest dipping sauce in the world. Soy sauce, vinegar, yum. Sesame oil, sambal, which is a Chinese chili paste, yum. And scallions. Mix, 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 like that, and we are done. So easy. Remember, ground chicken works, ground turkey, ground beef. All of them work to make dumplings. Simply Ming is brought to you by Watch Simply Ming on your public television station.